Hey church, my name is Mia and I'm part of the Manchester Central Campus. We are continuing the Own It series today with Own Your Thinking. Yesterday, we looked at owning our thinking by finding a way. Today, let's attempt the impossible. William Carey, Christian missionary said, expect great things from God, attempt great things for God. Luke 18, 27 says, Jesus replied, what is impossible with man is possible with God. Big thinking has to translate into big living. Expectations must be translated into reality. What is the impossible that God wants to make possible through you? There are things that once were impossible, but became possible because we gave it a go in faith. Second Chronicles 16, nine says, for the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. If your heart is committed, God will provide the strength. All you have to do is step in faith. Peter stepped out of the boat, walked on the water, but then started to drown in his disbelief. Esther stepped into the presence of a king and saved a nation. She walked trembling at the thought she would be put to death because the Lord decreed so if he had not summoned her. Thomas the apostle doubted the resurrection until Jesus appeared before him. We will have moments of wavering when attempting the impossible, but all we have to do is keep putting one foot in front of the other, head up, shoulders back, with a little bit of faith, and like Peter, we'll walk above the waves of our doubters. Like Esther, we'll do what they said we could not do. Like Thomas, we'll take the gospel to unreached people groups. Own your thinking and begin to attempt the impossible.